Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here. And today, well, we just got the infinite reveal for multiplayer. It was awesome. But we also got this Halo Waypoint blog, so I'm just gonna summarize. I have a bullet point to my right here, so should you know, summarize everything that's in this blog post. Here we go. Alright, so first of all, in the when you first get into this blog post, here's the trailer. I'll leave the trailer down in the description. It was, uh, it was a really good showing. 343 did a really good job with the infinite reveal uh, multiplayer trailer. Uh, let's take a look here. So in this jargon of text, basically the only thing that matters is the uh, more multiplayers tomorrow Monday. It's not it's not a live stream. They actually have a YouTube video up on their on their channel that's uh, premiering tomorrow around what for me it's like 11 or 10 p.m. Eastern time. Something like that. The point is, there's going to be more multiplayer footage on on the on the Halo YouTube channel tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, and Inside Infinite, the the last probably the last blog post on June 24th. I mean, these screenshots look amazing. I'm just speechless. It looks like looks great. Um, over here, what matters here is, uh, there's two new pieces of equipment that were actually shown in the trailer. We have the threat sensor, right? Yeah, threat sensor. If you ever played Titanfall 2, you got the pulse blade. One of the, one of the, a Titan, no, not Titan, pilot classes you get to choose. It was called the pulse blade. You threw that thing and it was like a, a radar thing and you could see people through walls. That's basically what it is. That's a threat sensor. And then we had the repulsor, which I barely even saw in the trailer the first time around. So it's essentially like a shield that deflects for a moment. Uh, yeah, it's like a, I don't know why they call it repulsor. Why didn't they call it deflector? I, I just realized, imagine just like a cool play where it's just like if, if both players are one shot and then, you know, the player that shoots first, you may not shoot first, but you can use the deflector to sh uh, ricochets the bullet ba bullets back at them. I wonder. If, I wonder if it works that way. No. Oh. So I ordered pizza. Anyways, moving on. The graphics just look stunning. I mean, they got a lot of flack in the July reveal, rightfully so. And uh, well, they they said hold my beer. <laughs> That's what they said. Um, it looks it looks great. There's. What more is there to say other than it's just it looks fantastic? Uh, let me see. What else do I have here? I made bullet points here. So, uh, oh yes, there is a sort of bot mode in Halo Infinite now. So, bots confirmed in Halo Infinite. I kind of expected this because what they said with MCC when they were working with the uh, Insider Flight. With one, like they said, like they had like bots in the MCC Insider, and they they only had it for testing. And I kind of had a feeling it was gonna be an infinite feature, but uh, they already confirmed it. And yeah, so it's a little surprising, and a little not too surprising for me personally. <sighs> but there's a new Spartan named Spartan Lorette, which a friend of mine said it could replace Sarah Palmer. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. For me, it's uh, whatever to me. I really, I, I really don't have, really have an opinion on Sarah Palmer nor Spartan Red. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, let's see what else here. Bots confirmed. Yes. Uh, oh, of course, because there are bots, you're able to customize them too. You're able to customize their loadouts, what, what weapons they spawn with, uh, their difficulty. And you can also use them in custom games, which is uh, going to be great. In case like, you want to host custom games, or you know, maybe you're by yourself. Just host a custom game, add bots to fill in the lobby. And it's a great feature. Uh, great feature overall. Um, let's see what else. Let's scroll down here. I guess we just talk about the pictures more, too. Uh, I mean, again, it just looks great. We got camo patterns now. I was expecting that with the armor coding system. It's great to see that being shown. Uh, let's see the screenshot. We got a 
different angled look on that one map they showed a long time ago. Anyways, next. BTB. BTB is now 24 players. They should have done that with Halo 5 with Warzone. But I'm pretty sure maybe this time is for real that the lobbies are now can be filled with 24 players. And not 16 or or not just 24 in exclusive Warzone mode. Hopefully it's like a full feature, not just, you know, 16 in custom games. No, now it's it's 24 players. It's 12v12. Pelicans. So remember Ordnance Drops in Halo 4? It's basically what they do with the Pelicans. So it seems like... Uh, we even saw in the trailer when uh, when uh, Pelican was coming flying through and it dropped off a Banshee. That's basically like Orton. another attempt at Ordnance Drops. Although this time, you know, it's not just you spawning them. It looks like it, it just spawns on the map for everyone to take over. Got yeah, no problem with that. It's, it's great. Uh, and they said they're going to share more BTV details later this summer. Oh, limited time seasonal events. This isn't... This should have been expected. We, since the game is free to play, we expected... Uh, Fortnite, Apex... Styled seasons. Oh, battle passes. There you go. Probably 100 tiers. Uh, oh, the, se the seasons... Seem expectedly... Seem like I'm on a monthly basis. So every season there'll be a new season. But it says limited time. I wonder if... If that means, are they gonna do a like MCC where it's just like you can go back to pr each season, or is it a really limited time where it's just like if you miss a season you can't go back to it? That's a uh, that's looking like it's more of the case, but at the cost of it being free. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about that. They wanted to uh, emphasize that there's no loot boxes or elements of chance in this game, so. Halo 5's rec system, don't expect it in this game. Even though they, this is the second time they're confirming it. Great to know. Also, this screenshot. I don't know if it's just me, but it reminds me of a Call of Duty map. It reminds me of that one Call of Duty 4 map with the the market in the middle. That's what it reminded me of when I, first, when I was watching the trailer. It's not a, I'm not talking shit about it, I'm just saying that that's what it looks like. I can't help but it looks like... It, it looks like a really grounded place. Kind of looks like... Halo 2's uh, outskirts in the campaign in uh, Mombasa. I mean, check out these uh, armor coatings here with these Spartans. I mean, we're, if we're going from left to right, they look great. Nice uh, chest piece that the red guy has to the left. The orange Spartan with the Mark 7 helmet is wearing like a extra protective face shield with the recon visor. A robot arm? Not much to say, I mean... Speechless, it just looks great. What else is there to say? The guy in the... The, the camo on the right. Got like the soldier helmet from like Halo 4 and 5, but it's like... Classified. Looks fine. The guy to the, to the right of him looks like... Aviator from 343's armor sets. The helmet. And then we have a new type of EVA helmet. It's not, it's probably not EVA, but it's one of those types of helmets was just open wide visor. Uh, they said infinite armor is purely cosmetic, doesn't impact gameplay. So, go. The new, it seems like they're calling the armor customization menu uh, armor hall. And we get to customize our gloves this time around. So. Cool, more customization. And we get to have a personal AI in our helmets. Uh, that that was the extra voice you heard during the multiplayer reveal. Besides Jeff Sticer. So that's really cool. That I didn't expect I didn't expect that at all. And apparently they help capture objectives. And there's more ways to customize their Spartans. Like even with the uh, they haven't shown everything yet is what they're trying to say. So there's still surprises left in store. There's a new friend or foe system. This I was kind of expecting a little bit. I wasn't sure, I don't know, but... Looks like red versus blue is mostly gone. Not totally gone, but probably mostly gone. 
because apparently this friend or foe system with outlines, which I expected, with the rumor going around with red versus blue not being in the game, there's going to be outlines. You know, kind of like the red outlines in, in uh, Overwatch? Kind of like that, that's what I think of when they say outlines. You get to customize the outlines matching the scoreboard, your team bases, and your team flags. Which actually explains them. Uh, I took a second look at the infinite multiplayer trailer. The flag is uh, like holographic. I'm assuming that's from a gameplay perspective, so that way you can easily see a glowing color. Or from everybody's perspectives. That's great. Halo Infinite Flighting will begin later this summer. My prediction is September, <laughs> because we've been getting rumors about, before this reveal, about Halo Infinite re releasing this September? But it turns out September, that could be the beta release date, or when the beta will start, and you know, they'll keep updating the flighting and whatnot. So that's when I predict we'll, we'll get uh, Infinite Flighting. It shows, apparently this is supposed to be the, uh, AI capturing the objective? I'm not sure how this is... I'm not sure how that whole thing is going to... I mean, yeah, here's an example of a glowing flag. Nothing noteworthy here other than the... Uh, sty piece over here. It's kind of new. 343 says thanks, and uh, they're, they're aware of the situation of the... You know, Halo as an IP, where it's, you know... That hasn't been doing its best throughout the years, and hopefully they'll... When Infinite releases, it'll be good game at launch because you know we all know how Halo 5 launched great multiplayer game shitty campaign no content <laughs> no forge day one and a shitty theater mode it took it took years for Halo 5 to get where, to where to where it is now it took or maybe not years maybe like a year and a half but it's in a better place now then we have this last screenshot ODST purple spartan Nice sidekick pistol. Great screenshot. And uh, great gameplay too. Great gameplay showing. Oh, the sword. I just noticed it's not like how it was in way back in the campaign gameplay trailer. Uh, the, like the two minute one. It's all blue now instead of the purple outlines. They're, they're gone. It's all blue. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I mean, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, a quick summary of everything you guys need to know from this post and from from today even tomorrow remember more multiplayer for now yeah, you got two videos today you got my reaction and now yeah this anyways uh see you guys tomorrow peace